Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome again to the channel. You know, I thought I'd take a little break from packing and moving and loading stuff in the trailer for a little food break. You know, the other day my daughter bought me a bunch of Japanese food to try. And I've got two, I think they're kind of Japanese desserts. I've never had them before, but this is what they look like. I've got this, and this I'm going to try. And they're some sort of rice cakes, I guess. And I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be cool, I think. These are both made in Japan, for, imported from Japan, so it's going to be interesting. Okie dokie, let's see what these things look like. This is Japanese rice cake. Oh, and I wanted to show you the back. Now these ones, where is it? I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Hopefully, hopefully it'll focus, but uh, Ikiku Daifuku. <laughs> that last part could get you in trouble if you say it too fast. That's the way I'm pronouncing it. I'm not sure if it's even close. <laughs> Uh, these are actually made in Japan. Oh wow, that is a weird, weird feeling. Wow, I did not expect that. I expected them to be more like cake. And it's almost like, um, almost feels like, I don't know. Like a, I've never touched a jellyfish, but sort of like it's super soft. Sort of like what you would think a jellyfish would taste like. Or <laughs> sort of like what you might think a jellyfish would feel like. It's very soft. Not doughy necessarily, but like very soft. Interesting. Um... So, for the sake of the exp okay, you can see like dough, this would saw, right? But you see how it's kind of just like, it really grabs onto the knife. It's very like, I don't know, sticky's the right word, but yeah, it's, oh, it's got some cream in there. Wow. Okay, it is sticky. As you can see, whoa. As you can see, you can pick it up by the stickiness. <laughs> um, oh, good. It looks like you could think about like a chocolate truffle where it has chocolate and then like a different kind of softer chocolate. It's almost like that inside. Now, it's interesting that the outside is not sticky at all to your fingers, but under that skin, um, it definitely is kind of sticky. So, all right, here is the half of it. Those are good. Hmm. Almost like a, kind of like a gelatin kind of a feel to them. Kind of along the lines of jello, sort of, kind of. Not overly sweet. Got a little strawberry flavor. They're good though. Hmm. Pleasant. So, I thought I would cut into this one. It's going to be quite the same, I think. This one is a rice cake. Azuki Daifuku. 
I'm not sure what the Zuki is. Now this has the bean jam. Red and kidney beans make the bean jam. Easy to open. Same outside consistency. Can you, it's, they're like squishables. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Oh. Okay. That's the bean jam. Interesting. Not at all sweet like what would be kind of an American dessert. There again, the, the center thing has this coating almost like a marshmallow. In a lot of ways, that's almost kind of like the consistency and the feel of a marshmallow. Just not as sweet, maybe. Hmm. I guess these are considered like a pastry kind of a dessert there. Tasty. Product of Japan. I don't have any idea what they cost, though. I didn't want to find out. <laughs> So it's pretty good. Let me know if you've ever hit anything like that. Let me know if you like trying different foods from around the world. And as always, I appreciate you guys for stopping by and giving me an excuse to take a break from this uh, moving, packing, loading, endless cycle that I'm in. As always, I appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you.